You're watching The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlemagne the God. We are The Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building, Anthony Hamilton. Hello, hello, hello. Morning, sir. You like the karaoke king right now, man. Yeah. Every time I look on social media, you covering somebody's record. You got to, man. The Hamiltones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to you have to do it. It's called recycling. What makes so what you just be sitting around high, a little drink, like, man, you know what I want to do? I want to sing Fetty Wap this morning. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> we Sometimes. saw you running around with two chains too. You yeah. guys are just both doing it. He didn't have on no chain yesterday. Hmm? So he didn't have on any chains yesterday. Yeah. 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 No he change. said he's trying to get away from that, though, because he said, you know, everybody did it when he did it. Yeah. So he's trying to do other things. Yeah, that's why I start shaving everybody, try to get the, uh, the scraggle beard. So <laughs> start shaving. Is that why? Probably. You sure? Did you mix your kung- kundalingus better? That's oh, how you pronounce it? it. Kundalingus? What huh? is wrong Probably. With <laughs> <laughs> Goodness gracious. Have you done Watch Out Little Bitch over yet? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think I saw that one. You got to pay You gotta pay for that, that cable, that cable thing, that, that, that internet box. Oh, on, your, next- on your phone? No, for yours. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, Anthony Hamilton, we've been talking about you a little bit recently. Now, me and Anthony Hamilton have history because... Oh, y'all have sex? No, not at all. But when I used to work for D'Angelo, Anthony Hamilton yeah. was his backup singer yeah. back then. And I remember one day, I used to hate that job. <laughs> Why'd you yeah, hate he so knows much? I did. That was one but of the worst But didn't you work jobs. for Harrell Entertainment, too? Mm-mm. It wasn't? No. No Jimmy Jenkins, either? Uh-uh. It was just, okay. Yeah, it was just at Virgin Records. All right, Virgin. It was the worst job I ever had in my Why, life. Why, D'Angelo's a bad boss or something? No, he was great. He was yeah. never in the office or anything. It was just other people, like his management, people from the label. I couldn't, they were terrible. Yeah. And yeah. I had a bad day one day, and Anthony Hamilton was up there. He could tell. He was like, you look really stressed out. Yeah, you were. You were sweet, though. You were always nice. Right, so we went out to get something to eat, and he um, he was like, let me play this song for you that I got, and I just started crying. And the rest what of the song was it? I can't even remember. Oh, okay. It was a song about family. It was- oh, I'm so glad that we are family. Yeah. Yeah, that song. You started crying. Yeah, it's I was like, really, it's a beautiful song. I got to put that out. You gotta, that was a great song. I was like, whatever happened? He lied. We got to find that one. <laughs> <laughs> so what did you, lo- you learn from D'Angelo all those years? Just how to put together a band, mm-hmm. real band, uh, the caliber of, of musicians that he had. So now, you know, you can't just fake play and get the job. You got to really, you got to really bring it. Did you know that you wanted to be to the forefront at some point? Yeah. I started out as a as a solo artist. Okay. Uh, dreaming of that. And just a matter of time before it was going to happen. But being it, a background singer, you know, it teaches you a lot. You get to see how it works. So when it's my time, I can. I can master it. Is it hard want, to go from uh, being solo and then saying, okay, let me do this background thing when you know already that you have those bigger, like, okay, I'm going to blow up. Is it difficult to have to make that transition? No, actually, it was it was good. I, I decided to go on tour. With mm-hmm. it. Like, I, I still had a record deal. You know, it wasn't really working out, you know, how I wanted it to, but I felt like if I was going on tour with him, I got exposure. Was that Uptown? No, or, actually, no, that was way up at Uptown. Oh. It was Soul Life. Okay. Oh, Soul right, Life right. Soul Life Atlantic. That one, Sunshine Anderson, was that that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the number one song in the country. So I was like, well, why y'all working on her? I could go to <laughs> And, you know, learn a lot. Mm-hmm. I always wonder with background singers, do, they, do you have the mentality that I'm just going to be a backup singer? Like, is there somebody out there that's like, I'm the best backup <laughs> singer in the world? We were. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we were the best background singer. So, you know, coming from that, you, you people, you know, sung your praises. Yeah. Right? And so now being a solo artist, so people remember. Yeah, because I think even, especially for somebody like D'Angelo, his background singers weren't like, that's all. They were all like oh, we were major all solo yeah. artists. Yeah, we were all. Who everybody else was it? It was you. Angie Stone was oh, one. Oh, man. Angie did it. The, the, Before. Yeah, the, the back end of the Brown Sugar Tour. Mm-hmm. But He got her pregnant. Actually, <laughs> not <laughs> so when happened. I was around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Blau sang background. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Wow. He had Blau. like the best. <laughs> yeah, Blau. Uh, Shelby Johnson. Who sings with Prince now and J.K., who also sings. Uh, he's part of the Hamiltons as well. But. Mm-hmm. That's probably why yeah. D'Angelo don't do much, do much no more. It's like where I go from there. I can't get no background <laughs> singers as good as this. Well, remember, he almost had B.J. Good, the Chicago but... kid. He almost had him. Remember? Yeah. When he yeah. was up here, he said he was going to do yeah. it, but he decided not to. Yeah, B.J.'s a bad boy too. Mm. Yeah. Do you feel like R&B is dead, like everybody's saying? No, nah, I've never, I've never gone to an R&B funeral. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never I've never said it but you know you gotta have something to talk about so mm-hmm. 
You've had a lot of longevity, though, with your career. This is like your fifth album coming out, right? The fifth on Sony, fifth. but okay. the ninth total. Wow. Nine, nine albums total. Yeah. And you stay on the road. Have to, man. That's where the groceries are. You yeah. Get them. Yeah. <laughs> got those kids to feed. Yeah. You, just went, through, you, you just went through a divorce, right? right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Did that help or hurt your content, man? Uh, You know, it's always something to talk about when you go through something like that. Mm-hmm. But, you know, makes you better. What happened? Because you was on the road so much? You wasn't home? Probably. Probably had to, you know, just bumping heads and, you know, sometimes you grow apart. Mm-hmm. How long y'all together? Twelve years. Wow. Yeah, for, for ten. Are you one of those guys that miss being married? Like you, some days. Yeah. Yeah. Until you go to Essence Festival and see all them old cougars out there. <laughs> That's when you really want to be married. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I got on three rings. <laughs> I got three rings up, please. No worms tonight, no worms. Are they throwing themselves at you now, though? Because they, they know you're single? Now they roll. They roll, tumble. They do it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you, you get that, though. I'm sure it didn't matter when you were married. Women still, you some, know. Some, some of them. Mm-hmm. Some of them, you know, they had that, that, that leaky conscience. Right. Yeah, <laughs> but... Some of them, it didn't matter. Mm-hmm. But now they like, ooh, I got a chance. Right. Like There's it. a healing process that has to go on after. Is it really, though? Yeah, I'm though? still in healing. <laughs> Is it really, though? Because I feel like once you finally get the divorce, you done went through all of that already. Like, yeah, you already, you know, there was a point. There was a point in it where you, you know, you know it's probably going to work or it's not going to work. Yeah. So you start preparing yourself. But, you know. Does it feel like a failure or just a new Hell beginning? No. All right. <laughs> Great. It was great. No, you know, it was a part of my life. We we both learned. We, you know, we helped each other out a lot. Mm-hmm. But I got a new album coming out March the 25th. Right. Are you, are you going to talk about the divorce on it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got a little bit of that on it. Maybe like a half a song. Half yeah. a song. <laughs> half a song. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, I already heard the single Amen, you know, c- clearly. Yeah. Yes. That's out right now. And I thought that song was about God. Somebody mm-hmm. told me it's about women. It's about relationships and how women can. It's about everything. Yeah. It's about all of it. Church is about the cooking, the <laughs> love making is about. It. So it's just like when you get something good in your life, you just say, "Amen." You thank God for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have one of those plates. I see you, damn Lily. I'm from the Carolinas, baby. You already yeah, know. You know that gravy, <laughs> dripping the gravy, sweet potato, mashed sweet potatoes when they're mixed together. Good baked macaroni and cheese, some <laughs> turkey wings cooked just right. Yeah, I like turkey wings. Y'all sound like some fat boys. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I like Turkey Wings. I like Turkey Wings. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just thinking about those yesterday. <laughs> turkey Wings. And you're going on tour with Fantasia, right? Yeah, we're about to go. We're about to sing the world down and shout and have a good time. Family reunion, cry, all that. Why Fantasia? A Carolina thing? Are you? It's just, it's just time for, you know, it's Al Green and Aretha Franklin. You have to tour. You know, those tours don't come by too often. So yeah. I feel like it's time. What do you think about R&B music now? I mean, you said you didn't go to any R&B funeral, but what do you think yeah. about the music now? I think there's still great music. There's young cats. Mm-hmm. You know, things evolve, people change. The young cats are into the video games, so now they're making songs that sound like video games. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but it's entertaining. There's a lot of money in, in video game music, too. Like it is. Soundtracks of video. It is. You know, now yeah. Rogers did like the Halo, um, the music for the Halo video game, mm-hmm. and that was like the biggest selling ever for yeah, a video game. Yeah, has been making money on the low, like, for mm-hmm. years. But yeah, man, music changed. I, I think what Chris Brown does and August Alcino, I think those cats are talented. Mm-hmm. I listen to it. Yeah, I think them guys get a lot of flack, but, you know, the content that they're singing about is just what their life reflects. Yeah, right now, it's a sexual world. So. And it's a, it's a lot of hoes out here. Like, you, what you, what a you lot want of hoes, to sing about? A lot of good women. Yeah. Half and halves. <laughs> 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 yeah, you managed to avoid a lot of drama, though. Like, you see a lot of artists you know, getting into it on yeah. social media and in real life, all kinds of situations. But your hands have been pretty clean. I don't have time to get into too much. You know, I work a lot. And then when I'm not working, I'm working as a father. So, mm-hmm. you know. You got six boys. Six. That's tough. Great boys. Yeah. Man, you was a good man, man. Most of, If you had six girls, that means you was a hoe in a past life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got yeah. two girls. Uh-oh. Man. Almost a hoe. No, no, I was a hoe. Hoe. <laughs> he was a hoe. I was filthy. Yeah. I was yeah. a filthy animal. Yeah, I don't have to pay for no weddings, but I'll probably end up paying for them anyway. <laughs> How old your boy? What's the oldest one? 27, 26, 19, and then my ex-wife had twins and a five and a three-year-old. Oh, you got grown kids. I can't baby. believe you have a 27-year-old. Yeah, I was really That's young. amazing, right? You got background yeah. singers. Yeah. <laughs> Do they sing? <laughs> uh, they, Anthony, he does uh, techno trance music, and he does animations. He's really talented. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. But he's such an artist, you got to wait for the perfect time to talk to him about it. 
He's one of those kind of cats. <laughs> Do they keep you hip on everything that's going on? No, I keep them up on it. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah they, they're pretty. My kids are pretty, uh, pretty much not hip hop kids at all. Yeah. They, yeah, they kind of, they're a little different. Is that by design? Uh, they just, yeah, they're just different kids. How important is it to like instill history in your kids, like as Very far important. as music and stuff like that? Yeah, you want them to know something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? By me being a, by me being a musician, music is something that's very important. Uh, so you want them to have some of that history and who they are, the people, and what they, you know, where we come from. Mm -hmm. It's very important for them to be well rounded and just, you know, be intelligent enough to make it through society and balanced enough to. Work it out when they have to. Do they appreciate what you do as far as an artist? Yes. They eat very well. <laughs> 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 no, but they like my music. And they'll let me know if it's a hit or if it's not. And they're pretty good, especially the little ones, the the, the twins. Yeah. One of, one of my twins can sing very well. And uh, his mother, she sang. Would you encourage them to, to, to be in the music business? If they really, you know, if they want to. Both of your wives were, were singers, right? I only got married. Oh, okay. Oh, I yeah. thought you said, oh, yeah. You just gonna, you just gonna put another almost, wife on him. He was on, okay, no, because no, when I knew him, he was about to get married. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Was and she real. was a singer also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she made a lot of money, too. <laughs> now, you signed a bunch of deals. You signed with uh, RC, uh, MCA, RCA, Arista, yeah, Social Dev. What was your best deal and what was your worst deal? Uptown was uh, one of the deals that, you know, was really dear to me. Because I wanted to be on Uptown and uh, because of Jodeci and... Uptown yes, was sir, popping at that time. A, yeah, they had a hell of a roster. So you was there so, when it was like uptown, uptown. Yeah, right when Puffy was leaving. Okay, I used to open up for Jodeci on the freaking you tour. That was a that was a special deal. Mm -hmm. um, but I think, man, what else is good? Soul Life had a good a good moment in Soul Life. Mm -hmm. But when I got with Jermaine Dupri, Soul So Deaf, it just set it off. Mm -hmm. was That's when you started making that real money. Yeah, I was able to eat a little bit. Mm -hmm. Why was that the good deal? Why was that the one we started? Because he understood, you know, he understood the music, he understood the vision, and uh, hell, he put it out. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah, ain't that the hardest part? Recording all this good music and then the label just sit on it. Yeah, but eventually, you know, if you work your contract out, it, it, it reverts back. Gotcha. So I'll, I'll be ready to put it out as soon as I'm free. Mm -hmm. Has anybody ever tried to approach you to being like a super group? You know how TGT did their thing. Cause yeah. I could see a lot of people probably trying to come at you and be like, "Yo, let's do something." Yeah. Uh, who was it? Fred Hammond wanted. What? What? Some like a tenors group? Or a something? gospel singer? Yeah. I think didn't he come out? I think he was saying something about a group. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. He had a conversation about it. Is that something you would entertain or would even feel? Because you see all the drama now that TGT is going through. I know it's hard for people to. Oh, I didn't even know it. Oh yeah, they go. I think it's a financial thing, like Tyrese. Yeah, Tank and Genuine feel like money. they should be making the same amount as Tyrese. I mean, if you're a group, I guess you should be. Yeah, you know, everybody should eat. Tyrese feels like he's a, he's the biggest star, so he should make the most. I he's, mean, they all had great moments, so mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. they're all talented. I mean, yeah, if you're just talking music, yeah. I can see that. But you know, when you factor in the Hollywood, Genuine had it popping though. Genuine Pony baby, yeah. Yeah. white people love yeah. Pony. Yeah. That is the white women's national love. anthem, bro. Yeah. yeah, I see them. They still play it right now. Yeah. Genuine will be able to get five thousand dollars for the rest of his life anywhere in the country <laughs> just to do Pony. That's a lot of money. You that guy, man, he's funny. You do, four, you do four shows a week at five thousand. You make hey, a nice make, living. Yeah, you can live, you can eat all right. You damn right. Oh but God. you got to dance like to that song though. You can't just get up and sing it. You, you think the white women don't dance? Move. They dance. They dance. <laughs> I'm not care. saying genuine. Genuine be dance. dancing? Yeah, no, he does. I'm saying, but he can't, like, when you get older, if you can't do that no more. Mm -mm. I think he has some moves that you can do for the rest of your life. Damn right. <laughs> you know, people make babies up until seven. You got seven year olds pumping. So I, I think he could do all right. White women really can't keep still when Pony come on. They lose. Put, put, they lose their but guys mind. can't keep still either. Y'all, you know, Pony come on right now. You be doing a little nah. wiggle. Pony dance? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna do the pony dance. <laughs> Even if it takes all you have to contain yourself, don't do it. Did labels ever try to make you to make those kind of records? Not really. Yeah. Nah. Well, I think Andre Harrell wanted me to put on a shiny suit back. Then. Really? Uh. <laughs> yeah. It's a big shades. I have a picture with big shades and a cougar print shirt. That's funny. Like, hell, <laughs> hell no. Okay. You should put that picture up. That's interesting though. Well, Jodeci, see man, it was so silky. Because Jodeci <laughs> paved the way. Yeah. They was from North Carolina. Like well, I they wouldn't give me no boots. They would, oh, okay, okay, they okay. They wouldn't give me no boots. They wanted me to have a hard bottom. <laughs> They're like Jodeci already did that. We need you to come another world. Man, they wanted me to be uh, like an Al Green with a silk blouse, 
loud stuff. <laughs> so I, can't, I can't even do it. I can't even do it. My goodness. Do you ever um, cry when you're performing your own songs? Like, yeah, really I've cried emotional? on stage a, a few times. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That's because you write all your own stuff, though, too. Yeah, that too. Even the co-writes. It just depends on where you're at. Mm-hmm. I bet you when you cry on stage, you get so much sympathy. <laughs> Girls yeah, be like, man, so I, 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 yeah, I can't, <laughs> okay. they can't wait to give they you this crying. sympathy box. Yeah, they, they, they yeah. cry. Said, that's all Charlemagne care about is that sympathy yeah. box and box. Charlamagne wish he could sing. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Charlemagne on the road. Come on, let's go. Can I lip sync? Yeah. You just lay the vocals for me and I'm gonna lip sync yeah. so good. <laughs> I'm gonna have to dim the lights just a little bit. I'm gonna have one of the Hamiltons to do it so you have your own. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not gonna work out well for you, bro. You it's not so? gonna work out well for you. You don't believe in it? Nah. Why you don't believe in it? <laughs> Hamilton's don't believe in you. dope. I don't believe in you. I can lip sync. Okay, well, What I'm Feeling is out March 25th. Yes. Yes, sir. You can pre-order it right now. You're also on the road. Yeah, me and Fantasia hitting the road uh, April 21st. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, please get those tickets. You you don't want to miss that. All right. It's Anthony Hamilton. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning, tune in.